1938 D. Lincoln sent with vivid toning. This nice specimen was graded as MS-65 red and brown by PCGS. 1938 D scents were very well made, and mint state examples are almost always sharply struck from dyes that show no more than moderate wear. Fully red gems are slightly scarcer than for most scents of the late 1930s, but not enough to make them rare. Several minor varieties are known for this issue, but the only one to draw much collector interest is listed at left. It this beautifully toned specimen ended up selling for $504 on January 8, 2024. Number 7. 1947 D. Jefferson Nickel. Graded as MS67 plus full steps by PCGS. According to PCGS, the 1947 D. Nickel is very common in circulated grades up to about MS64 condition. In uncirculated condition it requires a lot of searching to find MS65 examples or higher. MS66 examples begin to be scarce, especially with the full steps designation. In MS67 it is very difficult to find and it's much easier to just buy an example. However, expect to pay a significant premium to acquire an MS67 example, especially with full steps as they can be fairly expensive due to their scarcity. This plus designated full step specimen ended up selling for $1,260. Number 6. 1947 S. Roosevelt Dime graded in mint state 68 full bands by NGC. This issue is plentiful in mint state through the grade of MS67, but FT examples are a small minority of the total number of survivors. The typical 1947 S dime is softly struck from heavily worn and blurry dyes. Such dyes are almost always scarce and often repotted in the 1940s. The 1947 S dime is softly struck from heavily worn and blurry dyes. Such dyes were often repolished to remove their erosion lines, and this resulted in proof-like coins having very shallow or partially effaced features. A nice DDR variety is known but the blurriness of many 1947 S dimes may make this difficult to discern. More popular are the several RPMs, which are all of the trumpet tail as this MS-68 FB specimen was sold for $1,680. Number 7. 1952 Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 68 by NGC. According to Grading Service, the production of quarter dollars at the Philadelphia Mint was lower than that of the Denver facility, and this set the pattern for many years to come. Not only was America's population center moving westward, but Denver was being asked to pick up the slack caused by the limited size and production capability of the San Francisco Mint. 1952 P quarters are plentiful in Mint State, but top-notch gems are a bit scarce. The overall quality of Philadelphia Mint products was lacking a bit, due in part to the budget constraints that caused overuse of the dyes. This highly elusive top-graded specimen ended up selling for $1,260. Number 8. 4. Slightly Rainbow Tone 1943 Jefferson Nickel. Graded as MS-68 by NGC with star designation. According to Grading Service, why the mintage of 1943D Nickels was relatively low is a mystery, but most likely the Denver Mint was directed to focus on other denominations that year. In any case, this issue is plentiful across all but the highest grades. Like most Denver Mint coins of the war years, it is of superior workmanship when compared to those of the other mints. Gems having either 5FS or 6FS are likewise plentiful. There are over a dozen repunched mint mark varieties, all of them minor, as well as minor double die varieties for both sides. None of these varieties carry noticeable premiums. This elusive specimen was sold on January 8, 2024 for $1,320. Number 3. 1916 D. Mercury Dime. Graded as MS-63 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, the 1916 D. Mercury Dime is the undisputed key to the series with its remarkably low production of 264,000 coins. The 1921 P and 1921 D issues rank distant second with minages of slightly more than 1 million pieces each. The 1916 D was generally a well-struck issue, but it has an unusual grade distribution. Many examples are found in the range from fair or almost good to very good, poor examples generally show insufficient mint mark to distinguish from a 1916 P, with an occasional fine coin found. Uncirculated grades the 1916 D is especially sought after. It was sold for $17,400. Number 4. 1917 Lincoln sent with double die obverse. 
graded as MS-65 read by PCGS and proven by CAC. Both the date and in God we trust show bold doubling on this immensely popular cherry pickers and guidebook variety. This is a fire red gem uncirculated example, with lemon gold and lilac accents on the lustrous, fine-grained surfaces. MS-65 examples are of great rarity and in high demand among collectors and registry set enthusiasts. It was sold for $19,200. Number 1. 1911 Lincoln Scent in Mint State 67 Plus Red. The mint manufactured in excess of 101 million cents in 1911, yet only 27 submissions have qualified for the MS67 and MS67 Plus Red level at PCGS with just single finer. Finely textured fire orange surfaces are virtually mark-free, save for a single tick on the O and 1. Detail is pinpoint sharp. It was sold for $22,800. Thanks for watching this episode. Have a good one.